right hey this is Lena from the soap session bath and body shop back with you to do another soaping video today I'm working with my best recipe um, and I'm going to be using two fragrance oils today um, the first one is banana coconut fragrance oil crafters choice wholesale supplies, wholesale supplies plus and and this one is fresh break bread all right this is a fragrance that um, I've been using since I first started soaping um, I just love it um, and I decided to mix these two together um, so that maybe get like a a um, fruity uh, bakery scent something like that um, so um, I am also going to be using um, a matte pigment powder from Aztec and also um, brown <laughs> and then um yellow pigment also from aztec okay so i've used both of these before um so i'm gonna go ahead and blend up my oils they have the additives in it um but i haven't um, completely blended it into the mixture yet so i'm gonna go ahead and buzz that up real quick and then we'll go ahead and add our lye solution so my additives are you know coconut uh, milk, coconut water, and cake clay. Go ahead, let's um, add the lye solution here. All right. Um, I'm batter the steak then. Don't want it to get too thick. it's time to add our fragrance oil blend as you can see that's a nice yellow concoction it's only supposed to um, out of the two the bake uh, bread um, says it discolors to tan a light tan no vanillin in either one of them so that's good mix that in and it smells really good hoping both of those scents really shine through in our final product so here is the yellow okay and I'm going to I have too much of that all right and of course I'm making a mess as usual <laughs> And that white is, and my base batter here is thickening it up nicely. And here we go with the brown. Move in a little bit more. So I'm not going to have as much as that. Okay. okay. All right. Get this brown off of here. I want it to mix in with my yellow. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and mix up our yellow. Our yellow pigment. I've used this. It always looks uh, orange, like cheese. And you're first done with it, but it turns to a nice color. This is more like mustard. That's okay. And let's go ahead and let's store up that brown. Accent colors are going to be a little bit thinner because simply because we got that extra oil in it. All right, so we're going to start off uh, with our white, and this soap is warm and soaping at low lower temperatures. Well, I think I was around about 90 degrees for my lye solution. My soap, I'm sure, was my oils, rather, I'm sure, was um, room temperature. All right, so and <laughs> it doesn't want to pour out, so yeah, we are definitely going to need the hanger for this. it'll 
be nice though. I'm gonna move fast because I don't want to not be able to use my hanger. up most of that yellow a little bit more in there all right now we're gonna go for the brown everything is thickening it up all right, let's go for that brown up some white on top All right. of course whenever I use that a blender uh, it always gets thick on me okay all right the yellow doesn't want to come out I'm just gonna spoon some on top like mustard <laughs> all right I'm too sure to turn out to be something nice all right let's go ahead and let's put some more of this white on top brown on here because I don't want any of the brown on top. At least I don't think so at the moment. I might change my mind. <laughs> I feel like I just want the brown to be inside, not on top. Not rock hard. It's not super hard. and put the rest of the brown on. I'm not going to save any from the top. I'm going to stick with that. Not, I'm not, I'm not. And then we'll do the hanger switch. down to the bottom and on the sides too. Alright. Okay. Alright. That was a success. Okay. That most certainly was a success. Alright. Let's get this Clean up some of this mess here. Uh oh, got some inside of the thing. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's get this yellow on here. Okay. Let me put. 
push this on too. Think again. off on the sides. Let's see we're just gonna have to walk it down. Okay. Can you see? Can you see? Yeah you can see. Oh. Don't mess up the design. So hopefully I will be able to call this uh, banana bread all right and there it is we'll be back for the cut back with you to cut our um, our soap I don't know what we're gonna call this yet banana bread or um, sweet bread or something like that um, it smells really good I'm gonna see how the fragrance uh, develop as it cures out so um, turned out um, pretty good it looks nice um, and let's go ahead and let's cut it and see what we got in the inside. If I recall, this was a hanger swirl. All right, we did a hanger because it got thick on me. All right, and there we are. Okay, first cut. That looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Oh, and it smells good too. Like we got some nice uh, hanger swirls in here. All right, here we are again. Nicely done. All right, very nice. Okay. Okay. Here we are. Here we are. Right, this looks really really good I'm glad that yellow is popping I think um, I had more of that it's kind of a mustardy color but that's all right it's all right all right some nice swirls there nice hanger swirls all right so my last time I did the hanger that was with the strawberry soap it didn't come out so nice um, or the batter was way too thick um, but this one I have to say turned out really nicely which I'm happy about all right that looks pretty too all right so we got some nice swirls going on here and I don't know if you can tell looking at this bar there is the outer edge is already discoloring all right the outer edge of the soap so it is going to darken up some more but all of the color should still be very distinct all right so that outer edge was kind of i don't know oranges maybe a little bit a little orange to it tint i don't know <laughs> uh but it's definitely going to change colors that's for sure Let's see how it looks in a few days. All right, 
nice swirls. Nice, nice, nice. gonna leave as is all right have to bevel those edges up nicely but there you are there's the end piece all right so we got some nice swirls there um those yellows the, the yellow was really popping I, I really like it how it turned out smells good you can smell that banana and the fresh baked bread fragrance in there so um hoping that it, it um as it continues to cure it sticks all right so uh there it is that's our soap for today we're going to check out our website at thesoapobsession.com and